I'm your host, Logan 23. You're joining me for Bachelor Party, Chapter 2. You can win it back! So, Aisha's top secret electroshock briefcase may have just gone missing under mysterious circumstances. No big deal. You're definitely not freaking out. I'm freaking out! Hey, it's fine. I'm sure the case will turn up. Really? That's your brilliant plan. Just wait for it to turn up. Whoa, calm down. Uh, why don't you retrace your steps? You and Courtney hit the strip for a second. But I've been here all night. What am I going to retrace my 4 a.m. stumble to the bathroom? Jeez, it was just a suggestion. Sorry, I, I know it's just... It's just that I already tore the suite apart looking for it. The case is gone. I'm positive. But the only people who have been in the suite since last night are you, me, Courtney, and... The stripper. Everyone's eyes widen as comprehension slowly, painfully waves through the swamp of your hangovers. Alright, so we need to find the case. And we need Aisha to be more honest with us about it. Honest about what? I mean, the case looked pretty hardcore. Is someone coming for... for it? Like, coming for it? Dear God, this isn't Pulp Fiction. You're not gonna wind up trapped in a basement next to Bruce Willis with a ball gag in your mouth. Actually, I wouldn't mind being trapped in a basement with young Bruce Willis. Okay, we're getting slightly off topic. Aisha, start from the beginning. Why would someone want to steal it? I don't know. Maybe they thought there was something valuable inside. Well, is there something valuable inside? I mean, I assume so. I'm not really allowed to know the content of the deliveries. Am I the only one who thinks this sounds very, very illegal? Illegal? Are you serious? So what? That makes me some kind of criminal? We all know it happened before. True. Remember that time you freed the college's entire supply of frogs? That was a protest against animal cruelty. Totally. I mean, I get why you did it, but you did break into a lab and steal a lot of school property. I mean, okay, yes, that wasn't strictly legal, but it was just the one time. Courtney is the one who used to get us in trouble. Name one time. Flooding the campus square with bubble bath mixture. Name two times. The bee incident at Pottery Barn. Name three times. Oh my god. Courtney, I have Annex listed both alphabetically and by severity. You don't want to start this. Oh, I remember the worst one. That weird party at the mansion off campus with the grown-ups and togas. Oh, right. Uh, the one that that old guy who always came into the coffee shop invited us to. That should have been your first clue. Flashback to the strange experience the Girl Scouts had together in this exclusive scene. If you think Vegas is wild, well, it's been much more out there for this crew. People in Togas they probably took them all off because they were drunk or something. Trust me, I'll never forget the sight of what was under the, oh, that man's toga. And anyway, that's not the point. Right, the point is deciding whether or not my job is legit, but it is. I really am a courier. Come on, Mandy, you believe me, right? Aisha, <sighs> of course I believe you. You've never been the lawbreaker of the Girl Scouts. That honor goes to Courtney. True, Aisha's never gotten herself banned from a zoo, or received a restraining order from the Macklemore's hot cousin, Smacklemore. <laughs> okay. I feel like you're making that one up. Good. Thank you. So, we all agreed. I'm not doing anything illegal here. Aisha sighs heavily, weaving her hands through her hair. But my clients are very... Very well connected, not to mention rich. If they knew I'd lost their purchase, 
I'd be on the hook for whatever was inside. The full monetary value. It's in my contract. Exactly how much money are we talking here? Let's just say my children's children's children would probably still be paying for it. Levels of money. Oh, Asia. I'll lapse into a depressed silence. I mean, there was a James Bondage package. Maybe the stripper confused it for one of the props? I'll find the number and we can ask for it back. Courtney pulls up the stripper's website on her phone, scrolling down to the contact information. Wait, don't call. If he's stolen on purpose, we don't want to give him the chance to get rid of it. Nice thinking, D. Courtney, is there an address on the website? Oh, uh, there is. Let's go now. That way we can make it back in time for breakfast shots. 20 minutes later, a cab drops you off in a nondescript apartment building. Courtney, are you sure this is the right place? What kind of stripper service has run out of an apartment? Courtney pulls out her phone and shrugs, pointing at the screen. It's right here on the Nuts and Bolts website. Okay. You lead the rest of the Girl Scouts inside and knock on the door of the listed unit. Who's there? Kind of in the middle of something. Hmm, we think you accidentally took something of ours. Hand over the case so nobody gets hurt. We think you accidentally took something of ours. Crap, you that rival faction I nuked in Fortnite? I was fair in gaming and war, bro. Stop harassing me and get good. Actually, we're looking for nuts and bolts. The door clicks open, revealing a sour-looking guy. Game controller dangling from his fingertips. Damn it, I told Frank to change the address on his stupid stripping site after he moved out. Frank, is he the bolts, so to speak? Anyway, I'm not sure where he lives now. I kicked him out after he blew that demon tower raid. Also, he never paid rent. Okay, then. Do you know... If he has any friends we could talk to? Someone who talks to him regularly? Who we trust? Like, in the Discord, or...? IRL. Does he know IRL people? I mean, there's that guy who worked the strip. I forget his handle, but he, he seems to know everyone. Is that all? Some of us have better things to do than meet people IRL. Ugh. I guess so. Unless there's anything else you can think you might... Oh, thank God. I thought I'd never get out of m meat space. What? Rolling his eyes, the guy retreats back into the apartment, slamming the door behind him. So, what now? Now we... Oh my god, crap! Rushes over to a potted plant and vomits profusely into it. <sighs> that poor flower. When she finishes, she turns to you, looking guilty and clammy. I know I just... I should just power through this, but I'm not sure I can handle a trek down the strip right now. You know what? I don't feel that rough. You guys head back and take care of Asia. I'll see if I can track down this guy. Are you sure? I can rally and come with if you really think you need me. This is your bloody package, too. This is what just makes it horrific. The effort of speech has turned her... At least three shades of greener. I'm totally sure. You guys rest up. I'll let you know if I find the guy. They hug you and then catch a car back to the hotel you set off on foot, and soon you're in the thick of it. It's a gorgeous day out, bright, hot, bustling. You make your way down the strip, checking out everything from human statues to shell game operators, not to mention... <laughs> Look guys, they finally reused the guy for Most Wanted. It's only taken three years. Hey gorgeous, would you say to a quick hand of Blackjack? You win, you take home any of these prizes. I win, you flash me a glimpse of those beautiful... Jesus, stop. No. Hey, do you want a copy of my album? You know, I just realized. He looks like one of the Paul brothers. Okay. Uh, sure, I guess. That's 20 bucks. Oh, never mind then. Best of luck with... Are you trying to steal from me? So he's trying to steal my product! 
No, I just... Here, take it back. You press it in his hands and hurry away before he causes a bigger scene. Looking back over your shoulder to make sure he's not... Ah! Whoa, are you alright? Oh, hello there, sir. I think so. Are you? I'm sorry for plowing into you. I was just trying to get away from the guy with the albums. Glances over your shoulder. Oh, you mean Jason? That guy's not a musician, he's a two-bit con and a grade-A jerk. His album is just him singing old Limp Biscuit tracks at karaoke. But don't worry, he's already moved on to his next victim. Well, thanks for looking out. But I should get going. I promised my friend I'd help her find a guy working the strip, though I'm uh, certain I think it might have been a waste of time. Ah, uh, of course I wasn't, because you did find the one and only Ash Tanaka. And while I uh, usually like to find uh, your card folded up inside your wallet, I'd be willing to try my luck at finding your guy instead. But you don't even know who I'm looking for. But I know most of the locals. Plus, you're gonna tell me everything you know about him, right? Mandy, a big shot lawyer from Wolf, Barlow, and Faye, would uh, know that she's the smart move, wouldn't she? Wait. Have we met? Sure. There was the gala for dog suffering from baldness. I've never been to anything like that. Good. Pretty sure there was a uh, more important problems to solve in the world. With a devilish grin, Ash flicks his hand by your ear and reveals he's holding your business card, which he literally just mentioned. Sorry, couldn't resist. Had to prove to you that I was real deal, after all. And uh, don't ask me how I did it. Trade secret. He tilts his head towards the ledge away from the tourist crowds. A little wary now, you follow him and sit. So... Who are you looking for? Why? Are you planning to help me or just steal my Froyo frequent buyer card? Oh, I did just do about anything you asked, Mandy Bird. It's not often I get a chance to uh, talk women to women as beautiful as you. He grins so brazenly you can't help but laugh. Fine, but only because you're my last shot. I'm looking for a stripper. His name is Frank. I don't know his last name. But he stole something off of you. Because if you're talking about Stripper Frank, and I know, it's exactly his brand of nonsense. Actually, yeah, he took something from my friend Aisha. She needs for work. But if we don't get it back, she could be in serious trouble. So what should we do? Well, the police or, I don't know, the Better Business Bureau? <laughs> nah, he'll just ditch the stuff. I know a place he works a couple days a week. Better to surprise him there. Whoa. How do I know I can trust you? We've been talking for about two minutes, and you've already picked my pocket somehow. True. But I told you uh, about it pretty much immediately. Okay, but that's not how life works, dude. This is Vegas, Mandy. If you're not taking chances, why are you even here? Real talk, though. What are you getting out of this? Honestly, you seem interesting, and I want to get to know you better. Besides, my pride's at stake. Most of us run far, fair games for people who uh, want in. When jerks like Frank pull crap like this, it makes us all look bad. But if you uh, want me to back off, I can. No, I believe you. Just no more hustles on me, okay? Scout's honor. He raises a finger. You know that's not the symbol for that, right? Believe it or not, I was never a boy scout. Let me just text my friends and update them on the plan. Hey guys, on my way to Frank's work to hunt for the briefcase. Oh my god, what? You actually found the guy? Yep, yep, wish us luck. Okay, good luck. I'll let D and A know when they get back from the spa. They went to a bloody run spa. Also, if you were a concerned friend, you would say, who is us? I bought them the deluxe mud wrap packages, so they stopped freaking out. <laughs> really nefarious. Talk soon. You shove your phone in your pocket and follow Ash to his car. Soon you pull up 
but a dingy club with live dudes spelled out neo over neon over red. Actually, I've dude, but the, the letters are burnt out. The two of you walk inside together. That's Johnny, the stage manager. Let's go talk to him. Do you think he will really talk to us? He doesn't look like he wants to be bothered right now or ever. <laughs> Trust me, Johnny's a teddy bear. The only reason he'd be wearing a mug, that means, uh... What do you mean you're out of hand, sanitizer? I placed that order three weeks ago. I'm guessing Johnny's a bit of a germaphobe. Don't worry, I'll do the talking. Move you walk over to Johnny. Hey, buddy, what's new? Besides the fact that I can feel myself getting meningitis, not much. But it's always good to see you, brother. Who's a pretty lady? Someone special? Yeah, no. Johnny stares at you for a second. That a huge cool Ha ha! <laughs> like this one, Ash. See if you can keep her around. I'll uh, do my best. A first step would be finding her friend's property. Frank swiped it from uh, them last night. Has he come around? Oh, that son of a... I haven't seen him this morning, but uh, there's a back entrance to his dressing room. He might have been in earlier. Good, uh, we take a look around. The older man sighs, staring at Ash for a few seconds and nods. All right. Just, but don't tell anybody I'll let you in. The guys rent those spaces from us. Be quick, all right? Will do, Johnny. Thanks, man. Ash leans in for a hug. Are you crazy? Stay back. I'm probably contagious. Ash throws his hands up after a few seconds. Johnny leads you across the floor and unlocks the door before hurrying back to his post. Ash cautiously pokes his head inside. Well, Frank, you around, buddy? When no one answers, Ash gestures for you to follow him in. The dressing room is surprisingly well appointed with closets, seating area, and an attached bathroom. Us being here is not kosher. Yeah, but there's no breaking, just entering. Johnny will cover her eye for us. And anyway, Frank stole from you first. My lawyer brain is throwing up a thousand red flags. Well, they should probably find this thing quick, right? What are we looking for exactly? A briefcase, metal finish, high-tech keypad on the top. Got it, so where do you want to start? Let's search the closet. Cross to the closet and fling open the doors. Okay, we uh, got sexy waiter, sexy com, sexy soldier, sexy construction worker. Huh. Those are all look like normal outfits. I mean, I know he's a stripper, but the attention to detail is impressive. Really? So this hot department badge would fool you? Most of the construction workers you know carrying... Uh, Riding crops and their tool belts. <laughs> I'm not saying they pass close inspection. Either way, the briefcase isn't here. Let's move on. There's a dresser. Move to a tall, nondescript dresser in a far corner of the dressing room and we'll open the top drawer. Oh god, can only imagine what we'll find in here. So many G strings. Oh my god, how many G-strings does this guy own? Yeah, Frank's kind of known for his butt floss variety. Should we dig through them? Yes. Cautiously. Nah, fam, this is where I bounced. Grabbing a discarded cocktail straw, the two of you move around the G-strings to make sure there's no case underneath. And do the same in the other drawers. <laughs> it's G-strings all the way down. But um, it would be impressive if it weren't so bloody bizarre. Let's search the bathroom. You gingerly slide the bathroom door open immediately. The smell hits you like a ton of bricks. Ash peeks in over your shoulder, wretches a little. Ah, oh, close the door quick before we both pass out. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. I just need to check one thing. You pull open the door to the tiny shower stall to make sure the case isn't in there. Unfortunately, it's not, or maybe fortunately, all things considered. Okay, I've seen enough, and smelled enough. Slide the door shut as fast as humanly possible. 
You glance around the room looking for any spots you might have missed, but you don't see anything. Great. You called in a favor. We technically trespassed, and we're still going back to the girls empty handed. Ah, oh, wait, there's one place we still haven't looked the trash. She points to an overflowing trash can tucked behind the door. A grim sense of duty settles over you. Uh, I'm not touching his trash. Fine, I'll take one for the team. Chivalry isn't dead, huh? Oh yeah, the knights of old went digging through trash all the time. Taking in a deep breath, Ash flips the lid of the trash can and begins to search. For a few minutes, and a lot of grimacing his eyes light up. Wait, I actually found something. He emerges with a business card for a place called Club Elevate. Heard of it? Actually, yeah, it's one of the most luxurious clubs on the strip. Blowout shows every night of the week. Exactly the kind of place Frank would try to weasel his way into. Ash pulls out a cell phone and navigates to Club Ele Elevate's website. Looks like tonight's they're uh, featuring Mario Brain Melt Batusta's Mind Mutations. Okay. Is that a sex thing? What? No, it's a magic show. He's actually pretty great. Does everything from walking on water to picking your pocket from across the room. I can meet you there tonight. Even if Frank doesn't show, I uh, might recognize one of his buddies. Is it okay if my friends come with me? The more the merrier. Though we should probably hurry out of here. See you tonight at uh, Elevate. Later that night, back at the suite, you and your friends are bustling around, getting ready for your night out. Soon there will be a diamond choice for your outfit. Don't worry, I'm sure there will be. I've never been to a magic show before. What's the dress code? Connecticut a casual? I've never heard those words before. Or together. But I'm gonna go with definitely not. We're in Vegas, D. You've gotta go for glitz, glam, glitter, gloss, the g Actually, I think that's it. Just those ones. Okay, but maybe don't wear heels, just in case we have to chase some guy down an alley or... Is she serious? She's not serious, is she? We're just gonna take in a fun magic show. Hopefully connect with Frank, clear up this misunderstanding. And then more shots. Now go get dressed, Mandy. Wear something cute so we'll blend in. You dig through your suitcase for something that might fit the bill. Hi, Roller. You're welcome at any table. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're welcome at any table because you're cleavage. Yep, gonna go with black. I think I'll blend into the crowd best in my normal clothes. After a quick ride in a cab, you and the Girl Scouts arrive at the Brain Melt Show. Bought Ash hanging around near the bar and wave him over. Hey, Girl Scouts, this is the guy I was telling you about. Ash Tanaka. Ash, meet Asia, Diana, and Courtney. Oh yes, meet Courtney. Meet Courtney in her suite after the show for a little one-on-one -on -one time. Whoa, Courtney. We're here on a mission. Focus. This isn't the time for flirting. Just because I'm working in a store doesn't mean I can't uh, enjoy the merchandise in the store. I'm to stretch that metaphor past its limit, Courtney. Whatever, the point is I can multitask. Is anyone else ex super excited for the show? It's gonna be amazing! It's all just mirrors and wires. You know that, right? Magic is not just mirrors, Aisha. Magic is magical. The first guy I slept with was a magician. Are you being serious? Totally. Mostly slide of hand stuff, which was perfect. He used to do this one thing where he could pull a silk scarf out of my... Wow, is the lights flashing? Better get inside, huh? I... <laughs> I'm thinking about this scarf now. Yep, nope. Moving on, you all shuffled into the main theater as the stage lights come up. Lena rash to whisper. Anybody look familiar? Not yet, I'll let you know. Club Elevator is proud to present... 
Suddenly, in a puff of blue smoke, a well-dressed man appears on stage. <laughs> you really get around, huh? Pulling these, like, second and third-rate gigs? Alright. Maria Patusta, but you can call me Brain Melt, because I am going to melt! The lights flicker, Mario disappears, and reemerges halfway across the stage, and another puff of blue smoke. Your brains. Oh my god! <sighs> you clap your hands over your ears for protection against Courtney's shrieks. Mario strides to the front of the stage, pointing a finger at Courtney. I require some assistance with the Nick Delusion. I'm about to demonstrate what that a solid can pass through a solid. And you, my dear, may choose that solid. Next to you, Courtney stammers, rendered inarticulate with excitement. You won! I can! She okay? She's like, physically vibrating. Oh yeah, she just gets like that when she's overwhelmed by joy. Now I shall pass through the iron door, the brick wall, or the antique mirror. Courtney struggles to answer. She tugs on your sleeve, shooting you a desperate look. The iron door, the brick wall, the antique mirror. Mirrors are easy. Brick walls are doable. Iron door. Courtney nods, relieved. You got it right. No one is better in interpreting her eye language. <laughs> okay. Very well, then. I shall now pass through an iron door. Stagehand wheels a tall, elaborate iron door out on the stage. Myra wraps it with his knuckles. Here. The ring of my knuckles on iron. Witness the solidity of the solid. The veil drops down from the ceiling. It conceals the entire prop and Mario. His body and outline perfectly under the thin sil silk of the veil. Why are you doing it underneath a thing? Why not do it in front of everyone? Come on, say come on! You're Mario groaning with effort. You hear the sound of metal on metal screeching. You can see his body disappearing into the door, reappearing on the other side. It's probably the door opening. <laughs> oh my god. It probably was a door opening. Brain melt. Veil lifts. Mario has magically emerged on the other side of a fully intact door. Oh my god. What? That's... Oh my god! Next to our lovely Dawn Tear, she's truly magical one. It means me! It means me! He winks at Courtney and for a second. You think the joy may actually have killed her. If only he moves through a few more elaborate slights of hand and feats of teleportation before the lights come out for intermission. Wow, you guys! Not gonna lie, I know a few tricks myself, but that stuff was next level. Uh-huh, sure it was. <laughs> you guys! It's simple, Ash. All of his props were made of rubber, meant to be uh, swiftly disassembled, and... Wait, how do you walk through rubber, though? You guys! Yes, Courtney? I can't not bang him! <sighs> Courtney, honey... Focus on our mission. I love you, Court, but right now, we're not your wing women or Asia's, and we're trying to hook her up with that scary briefcase. Speaking of, I haven't seen Frank. Ash? Anyone he knows creeping around this place? Uh, no. I haven't spotted any of his crew so far. Of course. The card must have been from some other show. What were we thinking? Hey, don't give up yet. They probably plan to get her closer to when the show lets out. Happy tourists are... He coughs off awkwardly. Easier marks. I mean, yeah, if you're that kind of person. Anyway, if we don't spot Frank, I'm sure we'll uh, find some sort of lead. Glance around at your curls. Venetia looks mildly reassured. We should probably keep an eye on the bar in case he turns up. Do you want to join me, Mandy? If uh, we're lucky, we might spot something suspicious. And if we're really lucky, we won't. And you'll get, uh, I'll get you all to myself. 
slip away with a private drink with Ash in this exclusive scene and connect with the handsome hustler one on one. There's a lot going on beneath the suave smile and sleight of hand. If Frank is here, I don't want him to spot us and bolt. I suppose it's better than the alternative. Let's get back inside. I don't want to miss a second of this. After watching Mario melt a lot more brains. <laughs> you, Ash, and the Girl Scouts meet up at the lobby. Well, the Girl Scouts minus Courtney, she docked out after the show before any of you could catch where she was going. Well, this is a colossal waste of time. Don't look at it like that. We learn where Frank's not. But the longer we go without finding the case, the less likely it'll turn up. Look, the night is still young. I can ask around. We can see if anyone's run into Frank lately. We can... Oh my god, Girl Scouts! You will never guess what just happened! You, you bang the magician? Cordy rushes over, beaming as she brandishes four glossy golden tickets. And she starts jumping up and down. No, literally. I got his tickets to Agra Cadabra Lounge! And the after party's being hosted by the one, the only... Mario Brain Melt Batusta. Nice job, Corny. That's uh, definitely the spot we'll find Frank. Uh, okay. The trail's gone cold, but with the tickets to one of the Vegas's most exclusive locals in hand, the bachelor's party might really start to heat up. Enter into the realm of magic, mystery, and some really weird hookups in the next chapter of Bachelor Party. I just, <laughs> I just don't know what to say. Anyway, with that being said, I hope y'all did enjoy the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And down description below links to social media, Discord, and if you like to support me and my content. And without further ado, thank you all for tuning in. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.